I've never made a movie of this size before or of this genre. I've always been a fan, but it's a daunting undertaking. The day I knew everything was going to be okay was the day that Robert Downey Jr. was attached to play Iron Man. That is gorgeous. What Kevin's going to do, and, and they're going to take a cast to your foot so that it's a very low relief strap. Stan Winston's reputation and shame, the guys on that team, I worked with them before. Every time you go into their shop, you go, oh my God, and they did that, and they did that, and AI, and this, and that. And you see a history of films that I grew up on. Uh, the reason that I'm playing Tony Stark, the reason that I'm involved in Iron Man, the reason that I'm so excited is I'm crazy about movies. That's why I wanted to become an actor. That's why I could cry watching Chud, cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. I buy into movies. I love it. I see the fly. I don't care if that's Jeff Goldblum going, <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm in it. They're transporting. The fly's dying. I mean, I'm a sucker for this stuff. Yeah. The best thing I can tell you about me is ultimately I just don't do anything. Oh, I'm sick. I'm out of here. All right. Later. Get a good night. Stan, thanks. Good to see you, Rob. Okay. I'll see you soon. I walk in like a fan because I can, I say it humbly because I really don't do it. I did it when I started. Now I oversee it. Shane oversees it. Everybody over. I just enjoy it. I come in and it's easy for me to say, wow, that's cool, do more of that, and I'll make sure my name is on the screen. How many gags are you doing? We're going to do the inclined one Yeah. after this one, but this one right now, you're more upright. We're just gonna do a small blender section. Hey, I don't like my little tummy there. I'm not doing all this core work for nothing. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying behold the mass. I'm beholding the we could hold off on this part. Uh -oh. <laughs> we are building a prototype while we're going. We've never built an Iron Man suit before. Dude, you're zooming in on my hammer right now, aren't you? He's up on the what hammer. Kind of twisted parlor games going down here. And so you're given a launching gun, and then you have to hit the finish mark with the suit done. So it's not like we are ever able to kind of make one and then scrap it and make another one and make improvements and scrap that. and make, We have to actually work it all out and deliver at the time we're supposed to. Faster! Thank you. My background as a filmmaker is not in this sort of genre. I've dabbled a little bit in special effects in Zathura and Elf, but, but really I come from more of an independent background, primarily a comedic background. And so I really wanted to offer uh, a human side that would fit in with, uh, with my sensibility of filmmaking. And in assembling the cast that I did between Robert Downey Jr. and Jeff Bridges, Gwyneth Paltrow, Terrence Howard, that's a cast that I would be happy to have in a, in a drama or a comedy and to be able to have them to support a bigger-than-life superhero really offers the possibility to exceed what people's expectations might be of this type of genre. Listen to me, listen to me. You are like a little child sitting next to its father in a car with a plastic steering wheel turning the wheel. If its father's driving, Tony, well, then let me out of the car. Join me. Let's get the hell out of start. We can raise all the funds we call. What do you mean? I was the one who arranged the injunction, Tony. Well, you could have saved a lot of trouble if you just... What's up? Did I hear you do that? Yeah, no, that'd be great. <laughs> that'd be great. I'm in the house. I think it was my, uh, my manager, David Schiff, was uh, very excited about uh, this project. He was telling me about Iron Man. I said, oh, who's directing? And he said, John Favreau. I said, oh, God, he's such a wonderful... Uh, director, writer, and actor. I said, he'd be great to work with. And who's playing Iron Man? Robert Downey Jr. So, wow, so that's that's a pretty good team right there. And uh, he said, keep me posted. This sounds like a good, a, you know, something I'd like to get involved with. I'll let you warm up a little bit, and then we'll start throwing a little movement into it. 
Robert's a guy who takes a, is very disciplined in his approach to everything he does, and he's really gotten his body and his mind into a very, you know, sort of clear, disciplined state, and that, that sort of carried over into how he prepared for the role. Wherever the direction is, just point kind of the opposite yeah. way, right? Yeah, when you feel it going the other direction, act like you're gonna, like you're trying to counter it. Okay, go the other, there you go, just like that. I think he was very aware that he sort of had a burden in this film that he hadn't had before. He could sort of be charming and funny and come in and out of a movie and, and steal scenes in the past, but now he was a, you know, sort of an iconic superhero. It's good to eat about 10 minutes before this, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. I weight train crazily, and I do a lot of martial arts and yoga, Kung Fu, Wing Chun Kung Fu, but I was doing that anyway. About a year ago, I said, you know, I really want to put on some size, which isn't easy when you're in your late 30s and now I'm 41. I thought if I'm ever going to do a movie like this, I've got to do it quick before it's not embarrassing. But anyway, I, I feel like I've got a, a five to seven year window, and then if if it goes past that, then I'm sure um, uh, all the optical stuff and CGI will have advanced to make you look better. That's good. How's those legs, baby? Yeah, no, no, great shape. <laughs> <laughs> legs are ready. We wear this. That's fine. Come towards me. Got it across your face. Don't let your face get scratched on anything, all right? Robert Downey Jr.'s first reactions to the suit were, were extremely positive and he was thrilled. So that made us feel good because it, it is him, after all. He has to feel comfortable being in it. He enjoys the process. He wants to be in the suit as much as possible, which is fun. Yeah, that, that's what I wanted to see, just kind of walk around. Oh, they don't bend either, right? No, they, they just... Oh, they, I see. They're this basically is rotational, the... right? They rotate us and all the moves are hips up like this. I thought I'd been training for um, all these years and I was pretty butch and I put on that Mark I suit, which is his kind of escape vehicle. And uh, I almost had a personality meltdown. It also just gives me a great respect for the stuntmen and the guys who are doubling, or I don't even want to say doubling, that me and, and the other fellows who are really playing Tony in, in the suits. Careful actor at work, something just snapped off. And I'm not claustrophobic and it wasn't anything like that, it was just I wore it for half an hour and I kind of ran around and the next day I felt like my spirit had been broken. Like, not, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but it's like these guys are seriously tough ass guys. Mark one suit days, we cancel the strength training. <laughs> the first time I saw him put on the helmet, I looked at him and I said, Robert, you are Iron Man. I mean, how amazing is that? For the rest of your life, you are you Iron Man. Nobody's gonna take that away from you. And he looks at me and goes, yeah, it's amazing. 